spot indicated on the back of the letter. Fingers crossed, we'll be there faster than you can say gore apple pie. Look around, and hopefully find nothing. Determine this was just all a big misunderstanding. That Verandas was never a member of the Grey Host. If not, then I suppose I want to find undeniable proof that my mentor was a monster. So, can we go now? This still doesn't feel entirely real. I can't believe we found the letter tying Verandas to the Grey Host. From Rada al Saran of all people. At least there's a map. Let's find this damned island and finish this. The cart's waiting. We discovered a signet that looks just like one my mentor, Count Verandas, used to have. A signet that belonged to Rada al Saran. When we searched Ravenwatch Castle, we found an old letter to Verandas, requesting he come to a secret island. This is where the map led us. A lovely and ominous spot for a foreboding Greyhost castle, don't you think? If we can't find something about Rada al Saran and Verandas here, then I'm not sure where else to look. While it seems obvious to start with the unnecessarily ostentatious vampire castle over there, I think we should survey the island first. The Greyhost may be gone, but they could have left traps, and who knows what kind of wildlife lives here. I don't know. Something gothic and ridiculous. I don't like to generalize, but vampires tend toward the dramatic. Just be careful. We won't learn anything about Verandas and the Grey Host if we go and get ourselves killed. What is that thing? Did it just pulse at me? Did you see that? That crystal thing clearly reacted. It pulsed as I approached it. Well, it hasn't exploded or fried us to a crisp yet, so I'm thinking no. Probably not. I've seen something like this before, part of a ward. I think it responds to the presence of a vampire, like those sigils we saw. Now that they're awake, it should be simple enough to deactivate them. I'm not sure if your eyes are as good as mine, but I think I see a few more up ahead. I'll keep watch while you deal with the crystals. Let's go deal with the rest of the ward crystals. Good job. Let's find another ward crystal.
rumble. Let's go check the castle. Looks clear. Let's see if we can get inside. I hate to admit it, but this place is impressive. This place must have been impressive back in the day, but now it's just decrepit. Looks like it's been abandoned for centuries. Luckily, I came prepared. How do you feel about trying something unconventional? The members of House Ravenwatch exchange vials of their own blood. That shows a rare level of trust, even among vampires, since blood can be used in all sorts of spells, both beneficial and harmful. I brought some of Verandas' blood with me. By putting a drop of his blood in this potion, we can dreamwalk and access any memories Verandas has of this place. I'll leave it here on the table for when you're ready. I'd drink it myself, but a dreamwalk requires an impartial participant. Dangerous, not usually. The potion mixes alchemy and magic, Verandas' own design. It lets the imbiber experience the memories of the person whose blood is added to the concoction. The potion is on the table. Make sure you drink the whole thing. Exarch Verandas. While we have your crates moved to your study, Exarch Singalis and Ulfra would like a word. It is good to see you, Exarch Verandis. Lord Rada Alsaran will be pleased you accepted his invitation. You have been terribly missed. Exarchs Ulfra and Singalis asked me to send you to them as soon as you arrived. They wish to speak with you. Of course, Lord Verandis. My apologies. Please, you shouldn't keep the Exarchs waiting. Exarch Ulfra likes to look out over the courtyard from the eastern balcony. Exarch Singalis rarely leaves his laboratory on the upper level. Both want to see you. I will inform you once your crates have been moved to the study set aside for you. Smell them, Verandis. Pray on the wind. We should be out hunting them, not uselessly debating in these halls of stone. When you see Lord Rada Al Saran, do not continue your age old argument. He needs to remain focused. I'll never understand your obsession with sheep, Verandis. There are hunters and prey. We are hunters. Your sympathy for prey borders on the insane. As were you, until Morlag Bal made you into something more, something worthy. Lord Hersin made me one of his most powerful hunters, because he knew mortality restricted me. I could not reach my full potential until he rescued me from that fate. The wolf does not fear a thousand rabbits. It merely enjoys the bounty Hersin has provided. Humans, no matter how large their prosthetic armies grow, will never threaten us. Come to your senses, Verandis. Come back to your brothers and sisters. You're a fool, Verandis. You always have been. Why does Lord Rada Al Saran continue to humor you? We don't need you on the Grey Council. You aren't even fit to be one of Styrik's foot soldiers. Go bother someone else with your nonsense. Greyholm is impressive. I won't deny that. But I detest all the sitting around and debating. I'm a hunter. I ache to feel a mortal writhe in my grasp, to watch the blood spray against the dirt. Don't you? Why do I even try to talk to you about such things? 
Lord Radha al Saran should have dealt with you years ago. But he keeps calling you back. <sighs> Ah, Barandis. Good. I wanted to talk to you. I never tire of looking at this creation. Tell me again, why did you abandon your stone husks? I thought you wanted your precious mortals to enjoy the everlasting life of their betters. Is that what bothers you? One small failure and you abandon such promising research. You had the opportunity to seize control of existence itself. To control both life and death. Such power is unimaginable, yet you squander it. Cost? Bah! What cost? Mortals are as cheap and plentiful as grains of sand on a beach. Once you mastered your creation, you'd be able to resurrect them at will. They would worship you as a god. Wouldn't that bring about the peace you crave? How can you be so misguided? Mortals are so far beneath us, they cannot even comprehend their own inadequacy. I only hope Lord Radha al Saran can talk some sense into you. Meanwhile, I will study this creation. Perhaps even succeed where you failed. How I have missed our endless debates, my friend. Our deep and fascinating discussions about science and philosophy. I look forward to renewing that exchange. If you haven't presented yourself yet, you should go see Lord Radha al Saran. I've been quite successful in your absence. Radha al Saran discovered a strange relic beneath the Reach. I spent weeks examining it. It's quite remarkable, and I've only scratched the surface of the possibilities it might offer our kind. I'd prefer not to draw any conclusions until I've had time to examine it at length. But I welcome the chance to discuss it with you once you've settled in. This, my friend, at long last. How good to see you, Verandis, my old friend. You look well. Our halls have felt quite empty without you. What do you think of our new home? Is it not, as I wrote in my letter, everything one could ask for? To parley with the mortal queen? I have, but my stance has not changed. The Grey Host's strength has grown over the centuries, while dozens of mortal kingdoms have risen and fallen. What sense is there in revealing ourselves to them now? What mortals gain from an alliance with us is obvious. But what benefit do we receive from them? King Styrik and our Grey Host could crush this Empress Hestra and her armies in a day. I know you worry for our people, Verandis. But you need not. For such a brilliant mind who helped conceive our Grey Council, you can be so short-sighted, Verandis. I will say this. If the mortals do not move against us, we will not move against them. But I cannot protect your precious mortals from themselves. Enough talk of alliances and mortals. It has been too long since we last saw one another, Verandis. Let us speak of better times, drink the blood offered, and contemplate the tremendous responsibility we bear to keep our people safe. Good. You cannot imagine how much I have leaned upon them in your absence. It should please you to know that Ulfra shows restraint these days. 
and I know Zingalis would love to discuss his experiments and research with you. They understand little that does not serve their own needs. They do not understand why we started the Grey Council, or what an asset you are to the Grey Host. It will take much to convince them to make peace with mortals. Of course, Verandis. I know you too well to think you would let the topic go so easily. I promise, we will speak of it again. There is no need to rush. We have not seen each other in an elf's age. I would hear what you have been up to, my brother. And yet you waste years away from your family, caring for those who live short and meaningless lives. Now, Verandis, is my word not enough to appease you? We will speak more of this later. For now, I wish to discuss more pleasant topics. We have talked and I have listened. I have humored your ideals far longer than they deserve. I invited you because you will flourish here, Verandis. You belong here, among your brothers and sisters, not meandered in the tribulations of mortal life. Your dream and mine are similar, my friend, but they are not the same. This friction between us, it thins my patience. Still, this place, no matter how grand, did not feel complete until you returned. You belong here, Verandis. Lord Verandis, I apologize for the delay. The study is ready for you. Ah. Easy, friend. It's time to wake up. Find the dream walk potion and drink it. You cried out in your sleep just before you woke up. What happened? Are you all right? Oh, that would explain it. Don't worry, it's not you. It's almost impossible to read in a dream walk. But did you say Verandas' study? He had a study in this terrible place? Was he truly a member of the Grey Host? Sounds like Verandas. That's why he founded the Raven Watch after all. To allow vampires like us to gather safely. Only feed on willing subjects, and help mortals instead of preying upon them. So, he wasn't hoping to conquer Tamriel? Then, he didn't lie to me. He's still the man I know and trust. He left out a few things, of course, but I'll deal with that another time. That study of his, it might still be here. Can you lead me to it? this time. His scent lingers in this place. Did you find the journal? What's it say? The journal was still here? Amazing. What did it say? Let me see that. Huh. Ritual simple enough. Just light some candles and place the reliquary. It looks like he abandoned the research before ever testing it on a vampire. Something about life energy and too great a cost. When a vampire dies, our souls go to Cold Harbor. We can use that to our advantage. If we want answers, why not go straight to the source? Let's resurrect one of these Grey Host leaders. A member of this Grey Council Verandas wrote about. Why not? They're evil. Who cares what the ritual does to them? We have to interrogate them and find some weakness. Some way to stop the Grey Host. Go downstairs and find the reliquary Verandas wrote about. 
Then meet me in the ritual chamber. Get the reliquary and meet me in the ritual chamber. That's a stone husk, all right. Light the candles to begin the ritual. Good. Now place the reliquary. doing here who do you think sealed this place child i came as soon as my wards were disturbed verondas you should have told me about the great council so you know when this come let us all speak outside So you're the one who helped my ward Gwendis with her inquiries. If I had been completely honest with her, I could have saved you both the trouble. Please, accept my apologies. Well, that was the ancient past. There was no reason to mention my involvement with the Grey Host. I never imagined they would return. Radha al Saran and I were friends once. I tried to convince him to take a different path, but to no avail. You saw? Then know that I regret not trying harder. If I pushed, could I have averted the war? I suppose we'll never know. Regardless, Gwendis informs me that Radha al Saran may be alive, and somehow the Grey Host has returned to threaten our world. Now? Now I take up the mantle of what you and Gwendis started. We must find out what this revived Grey Host plans and devise a way to stop them. When the time comes, House Ravenwatch will send for you. I pray you will continue to aid us. I started looking for information about the Grey Host and discovered that my mentor had a hand in their creation. Verandas may have kept his past a secret, but at least we know he opposed their plans for conquest. He wasn't a part of their war. I heard what he said. I'm still angry that he kept this part of his past a secret. But we'll work it out, eventually. In the meantime, at least I know I can trust him, that he didn't betray the ideals of House Ravenwatch. Of course, there's too much at stake to let a few secrets get in our way. I'll help him in whatever way I can, and once we know more, we'll send for you. 
I figure you want to see how this ends just as much as we do. Take this, my friend. You earned it. For helping me learn more about Rada al Saran and the Grey Host. And for discovering the true connection between Verandas and the Grey Council. When you're ready for a reckoning, House Ravenwatch will contact you. <laughs>